another episode of Exact Tax brought to you by Actionable Insights. My name is Seth Harrison and today I want to talk about loading a macro. You have a macro. You purchased it from Actionable Insights website, get, getinsights.org. Somebody sent it to you and you're looking at it going, all right, how do I get it into my Xactimate so I can use it? With ESX files, you can drag and drop into the control center tab here, into the projects tab, kind of like this. And you can see even the little plus symbol that says it looks like it might even work. But when I actually let go to drop it in there, nothing happens. And you can even try and drag it into a direct estimate. And it looks like it might even work. It brings up this little box that says, are you sure you want to import this MCX file into this particular project? And you'll hit, yeah, that sounds great. And then it says fails. And you look at details and it says unsupported file format. It's an MCX file. We know Xactimate takes it but it doesn't work in this way. So unlike ESXs, you actually have to use one specific tool in order to load these macros. And this tool can be found under the Xactimate tab here. You go to Tools, and on the right side you'll see Data Transfer. And when I click Data Transfer, it'll bring up this box and it'll say, do you want to retrieve, send, delete? Um, if I was trying to send the macro or export it somewhere, it, then I would use the Send option. But in this case, I'm trying to retrieve it. And I have the folder already. Uh, selected that has the exact hack mac macro in it and I will hit select items and it'll bring up that folder and it's, there's my macro and I hit retrieve and it says succeeded. So now when I go to my exact 28 estimate that I was trying to work on and put that macro in, that macro will be in my macro list and I can apply it and update it as I see fit. This has been another exact hack. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next Thursday.